I am going to spend the next three days homeless in Los Angeles with the last day being the most dangerous street, Skid Row. LA's most troubled places, Skid Row. Gang members. He actually stabbed a man in the head with an ice pick. Firstly, I came to this park to make some new homeless people friends. So in this park, there is a playground. Homeless people. Skate park. Toothbrush. Some trash. While I was exploring the park, one non-profit organization came to give food to the homeless people. And uh, we focus on providing mutual aid, uh, rehabilitation, and temporary housing to the unhoused and underserved in the Los Angeles community. For the next three days, I will try to experience homelessness as well and I will go to different streets, different parts in the third day to live in Skid Row and I will try to escape. <laughs> Why you are laughing when I said about Skid Row? You see, one day you'll be laughing with me. It's something you have to experience yourself. What I will find there? Good luck. Good no, luck. <laughs> this is Clinton, my new friend here that will show me around. He lives here in this park. Mm -hmm. How many people do you think they live here? You are going to show us around? I got four out clothes, my sock, my own workout clothes. Later we can play some basketball together. Depends how much game you got. If I beat you, can I stay inside your tent? I'll, I'll sleep outside. They don't do nothing, people here. They just hang out in the park and they chill and they just pass time. With empty pockets and um, empty schedules and... Kind of in survival mode, I guess I understand. I don't want to be in survival mode because then that's my way of life. I'm just here in development mode. So these are my new friends here. Before we started playing basketball, John shared his story with me. It's been a really wild, crazy, crazy experience because at the age of 17, and my mom caught me and she didn't like me smoking weed. So at 18, I got kicked out of my house. I love my mom to death, man. You know, I, I just can't really talk to her because I lost everything that I have. Every person have a story here. You go to this tent, you are going to see one person trying to get out of poverty. And then you go to the next one, happy, chill. So much variety of stuff here. It's time for the big basketball game. You won 11, 10. Oh, you are going to sleep in your tent and I will sleep in my couch. Tonight I will sleep in this part. The sun is going down. Tomorrow I will go to Walmart to see some people that they sleep inside their car. Keep forgetting your name, my friend. Did you miss me? Yes, I did. I didn't even know you were here, buddy. They invited me in their barbecue to their cheers. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. So what I understood here, people, are like a community. Being here, I understood how lucky I am having a family that loves me, not... This is our meal. Thank you, guys. I will try first time noodles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, try them out. Yes. I like it. Yeah, man. I'm actually having fun. This is good stuff. He peed on himself. Oh, yeah, he did. You know, it's kind of... While we were having fun all together, this happened. So he went to bring his gun. Nigga, I will thank your ass with this gun. I know you would, I, and I know you would. I'm not challenging you or nothing like that. They are going to fight. Uh, no, no, I don't want to see anything like that. There's no way I would have lost that. Why my shit sitting over the west side would have came over there and took my shit? There's no way that would have happened. This is happening in the safest park. I wonder what is going to happen in Skid Row. <laughs> I hope you have a blessing in Skid Row, man. Good night, Clinton. I will make my bed now. This is the place that I will stay. Today it was interesting day. Tomorrow it will be more interesting and Skid Row will be extremely interesting. Good morning. They have plenty of food because people come here and bring food every day so i don't feel bad about that i learned so much stuff about different aspects in the life here so when you get called the problem enough you start to feel like the problem right actually what he said it's very interesting because if everybody thinks that you are the problem you kind of start in feeling like you are the problem it's been a pleasure thank you for being nice to me I left the park and took two free buses to the train station to show you something. All these people are waiting for the train and I will show you something interesting in this metro that is going to come. I see a lot of people sleeping in the train. Why they do this? They have no place to go. This is not a pleasant image. A lot of people come here because it's more safe. 
to stay here in the metro station. A lot of homeless people, how they make money, they collect a lot of trash cans and they give them to a place that they give them money to buy alcohol and weed. Do you know anything about Skid Row? Yeah, it's a f***ed up place. <laughs> Try not to be there too long, you know? Whatever you do, just don't, don't, don't show no fear. There is some beauty in meeting strangers. I don't know what I like about it, but it's beautiful. And I have to find a place to stay tonight and tomorrow I'm going to Skid Row. Oh my god. What do you know about Skid Row? It's a horrible place. And the problem is, is that many people don't want to be nice. I will go and spend tomorrow the night and all day there. You think it will be dangerous? It's dangerous anything we do. Santa Monica, ladies and gentlemen. Do I look homeless or no? Not really. I don't do a good job of it. <laughs> this is Santa Monica Pierre toilet. I'm peeing while recording. Hey guys. Oh, hey. I feel very dirty and I want to jump inside the ocean to clean my body and I will do this now uh, You can't imagine how much I enjoyed the ocean So guys, I will try to explain you who I am in 10 seconds, okay? I am happy, disciplined, I'm not organized, a bit boring, I work all time and that's it about me Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Have a great day. I wanted you to know some stuff about me. That's why I did this. Sun is going down and I'm going to marry that girl. She laughed. So the goal is to go to Walmart now. It's been two hours that I'm traveling to get to Walmart. Because I have no money, I have to take the free buses. This are my regular clothes and i don't spend money on material things finally i came to walmart now we have to find cars with people that are sleeping inside do you sleep in your car here no this is weird do you sleep in your car here yeah okay do you Hello. i'm looking for people that sleep in their cars okay well yes we're one of them <laughs> I like your personality. Uh, thank you. We go sleep I in the mountains. Know. This is Daniel and he sleeps in his car. What I have in my car is like toiletries. I have like um, a travel bag with like toothbrushes, socks, underwear, extra clothes. This is your bed for the night. That's my bed. Do oh. you feel safe during the night? It depends where you're at. I'm fortunate to have a car. Like I'm very fortunate. A lot of people don't have a car. You gotta learn how to do more with less. You gotta stay positive, man. You gotta work with what you got. Thanks for talking to me. That was very meaningful two days of my life. And tomorrow it's the big day. I'm extremely tired and tonight I have to sleep outside. And I don't have nothing more than this. So now I came to one part that I saw in the map to survive here tonight. I always wanted to sleep inside a kid playground. So this is my bed for the night. I stole this from a homeless person. <laughs> but I will put it back in the morning. I went and brought this sleeping bag because I'm very cold. One person walked in the park and started shouting to me. I'm a bit afraid now to sleep here with that guy. I'm not gonna lie. One police helicopter is going around all the time. Worst case scenario, he... I don't know. I don't care about him. I'm so tired that I want to sleep. Good night. Good morning. It's Skid Row Day. I took this. Is it a problem? I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. You might be wondering why I'm going to church. So today it's Easter in my religion. I grew up in a religious family. I kind of like it. Going to church and praying. Now next stop is my house to leave my bag and the camera so Skid Row people doesn't rap me. These are the only things I'm taking with me. I hope they don't steal them. Skid Row, I'm coming! City of Los Angeles is not exactly what you see in the movies. This bus is going to take me to Skid Row. It's the moment of truth. We are here. This is Skid Row. I talked to one person here and he told me, be very careful who you talk to. Thank you for the food. You cannot speak. No. Okay, you can hear good, but you cannot talk. How old are you, sir? I am 21. 
So I'm trying to keep low profile so people don't understand what I'm doing. What's the scariest thing that you saw here? Oh, a mask. How many years you are here? 49. I commuted to other cities, but I live here. Y you like this place? Yeah, I like this place. Do you have any advice for me that I will sleep here? Just keep quiet and, and try and, and get along with whoever you meet on the street. This car just stopped by and he dropped some clothes. They gave me as well a hat. No, this is my bag. He's saying that I'm sitting on his, on his bag. But I'm sitting on the sleeping bag that he gave me. Sir, did you lost anything? Simon. What? Yes, the beach. The beach? I heard a lot of bad things that can happen to me that white and young is not a good combination. People will try to mess with me in the night. I didn't feel kind of safe and found a place to stay. I'm a bit scared. You've been here for how many years? Going on 41 years this May 15th. Oh my God. You can call this place uh, survival zone. This is like a cry for help area. We're all human. You came out here because something in you pulled you. And only those who are pulled and interested will make the difference. Don't I interest understand. yourself with silly measures of one night sleeping around here. Don't put yourself in dangers you don't need to be in. Because it's only peaceful to those who are aware of it. The sun is going down and things are about to get real. People want to do drugs so badly that their body is shaking. And so many stories here of addiction of drugs in the night. It's a different story that we are going to experience together. Maybe. Oh my god, I am screwed. All day I've been filming and people understood that I am not homeless. So people are passing by me and they're saying don't get too comfortable and they're shouting to me. And I feel a bit unsafe here. <laughs> Probably I will leave from this place and try to find a different spot. There is the toilet with the security 24 7 so i will set my stuff here in this corner if i sleep people will come and wrap my phone so one girl is shouting but this is very normal here and this place is full with drug addicts which they can do anything for their medication that's a major problem here but it's been one of the most beautiful experiences of my life doing this video so i'm really grateful i slept for eight hours there and nobody bothered me it's 5 a.m and i will take a walk around to see what is going on i think i was overreacting all the night because i heard all these stories and i believed that in 5 a.m there is not much going on here good morning sir, yes, sir. the sun started coming out another one hour to go until the sun comes up and i finally finish i spent successfully the night on skid row Oops. I might not have 10,000 to give you to subscribe like Mr. Beast, but I put all my effort and creativity in these YouTube videos. And now I have to leave the street by subscribe.